Hi there. My name is Sean Mitchell. I'm the pastor, founding pastor of New Venture Christian Fellowship in Oceanside, California, a church where we've been in existence nine years, and we have uh, close to 3,500 adults who uh, call this their church home and our weekend services. And um, I'm just glad to take a few moments on this tape and just share with, uh, with peers, with associates in ministry, the excitement I feel that through this tape series, I'm going to be able to continue to grow and expand and fulfill the work which God has given me because I have the opportunity to find out about you on this tape series. As you know, ministry is so demanding, the hours that it takes, the things that God has for us to learn, and the way God is so creative, He's limitless. In the beginning, God created. Well, He's always creating and doing new things, and that includes our churches. I wish I had the time to jump on a jet, fly around this country, visit your church and dozens of others, and be able to, to, to glean from you and talk with you and be able to share into some of those secrets of what God has done in your ministry, in your part of the country, in the vineyard He's given you. But as you know, ministry doesn't allow that. Your ministry has been defined as sometimes the hardest job you'll ever love. And you love it, and you want to do it better. There is no better way I have found in doing it than what can be done through these video series, where we can go ahead and talk to one another, learn from one another, send our teams out to visit your church. You learn about our, my church here in Oceanside, California, and hundreds of other churches through this series. You know, leaders are learners, and the day we stop learning, we stop leading. We've got to continue to learn. I mean, what are the mistakes you've made that I can avoid, or all the ones I've made that I can keep you from involving yourselves in? I want to encourage you. Do what I'm doing, what my staff is doing, and that is viewing these tapes and being able to learn around the nation how God is at work in one of the most exciting times in the history of the Christian church. This is a great time for the Church of Christ. We need to be gleaning and learning from each other, and I want to encourage you, one shepherd to another. God bless you, and let's continue to serve Him. In Jesus' name. Special word. Uh, John Vaughn does not know I'm going to say this, but I'm, I've got access to the camera, so I'm going to say it anyway. I want to say an endorsement of the ministry of John Vaughn and what he has meant to our own local church. I met him at a church growth conference, and right away I caught his spirit. What I was excited about, he wasn't, uh, he wasn't stuffy and professorial. He, was, he lived right where I lived. He, he was easy to talk to. He was a good listener. And quite candidly, in the first conversation we had, I poured out some very deep concerns and hurts I had as a pastor. And it was like he connected with me. And I learned very quickly I could, could trust him. I asked him to come to our church and do a, a seminar. I wasn't even sure what all he was going to cover. And I'm so thankful for his ministry. He came and he knew his information. He had his data down. He, he's a, really a walking calculator at that point. And, and he came and shared with a vast amount of information. And our people began to see some things. It was kind of like some shackles fell off a number of, of their eyes. In any given seminar, not everybody connects with everything. But in every seminar that I do or take our people to, I always pray that a certain percentage will see some things they never saw. And that happened. When we had John Vaughn here, there were people who all of a sudden saw things. They saw the importance of things. It inspired them to a fresh vision. And uh, he didn't know I was going to say this, and I, I'm really taking uh, the, the initiative to do this, but I'm intensely thankful, John, to you for the ministry you've had to our people and to me to know that someone out there is really examining what's going on in the body of Christ and, and feeds this information to me, encourages me, it helps me, and I really appreciate you and certainly can commend your ministry to any fellowship or to any church. You know, if you're watching this right now, probably you don't know who Gene Apple is and you've never heard of Central Christian Church in Las Vegas, Nevada, and there's a high likelihood I don't know who you are and I don't know where you're ministering and what God is doing in your place. And you know, I really believe there are some things that you're doing right now that I could learn from and that I could benefit from and that nobody knows about. And I really want to encourage you uh, to be a part of this vid video series that John is putting together because it can be such a great tool as we network together and learn from one another. And you know, iron sharpens iron. And, uh, you know, there might be some things going on in your community that could have an impact a thousand miles away, two thousand miles away, if you would be willing to put your story uh, on video. And, you know what, I need to hear it. 
and uh, I, I hope you'll be a part of this important project for the kingdom. I would have loved to have, when I began our church, the advice of pastors who had done it before me, where I could watch on videotape some pastors who had been there and had done that and had gone through all the things and the mistakes that I went through saved me a lot of trouble if I would have had those videos from pastors that not only know about church growth but can communicate what church growth is all about. And, and if that would have been available to me, it would have saved me so many mistakes. It would have saved me so much time And because you learn from the experts, not the perfect experts, but the experts who have done it. And I think many times we have seminary professors that may not have, uh, you know, gone out there and started churches and planted churches, or you have uh, pastors who are at churches that they inherited this large church. But when you, you listen to a pastor who has maybe founded his church or he's been there and have been instrumental in this growth of the church, it's so crucial in um, in your wisdom and your learning. So I would say that. It would have saved me so much time, trouble, mistakes that I made if I could have learned from over a hundred pastors who have been there and done that. It would have been instrumental in our church, and I wish I would have had that. Hello, I'm John Osteen, and I'm pastor of the Lakewood Church here in Houston, Texas, USA. And uh, I'm so glad to, to be a part of what Dr. John Vaughn is doing. And. Uh, you know, we don't know everything, but what we know, we want to share with you because we can learn from one another. The rich get rich and the poor get poorer. I don't like that when it comes to money, and I don't like it when it comes to churches, but it's true in the sense that some people who are willing learn what other churches do, learn what principles work, and, and adopt them, adapt them for their own lives. The Barrier Breaking Series is one of those ways. We did it and had a number of people in our staff view the video, show us a part of it, and give us a report. Learn from other churches. Whether you're on vacation or just sitting at home, it's a great way to look at another church and learn. Let's don't ever be jealous. Let's don't ever put anybody down. Let's say we're on this team. Let's help each other. And these videos are a great way to do it. I urge you to look at other churches. We do it. It really helps. I'm George Westlake, Senior Pastor of Sheffield Family Life Center in Kansas City, Missouri. I've been pastoring this church for 27 years. I'm back when it was running 200 instead of the 3,500 it is now. I would love to have had been able to sit down with about 100 or 150 pastors and let them share their hearts with me, the things that have worked, the problems that they've faced, what God has done, the miraculous provision, and the moving of the Spirit of God in their ministries. What a great opportunity this tape series is to sit down and hear from other people that God has moved in their lives and moved in their ministry and moved in their churches and God might be able to use the same thing in your church. We need the help of others. God has made us to need each other. So let me encourage you to take advantage of this great series. I know it's going to help you and will prosper your ministry. Hi, my name is Steve Stroop and I'm the pastor of Lake Point Church in Rockwall, Texas. Uh, we're currently running about 5,000. We're about 20 years old and uh, you know, if I had the resource of being able to benchmark across the United States with uh, churches when we were running about five or six hundred, uh, that would have been a tremendous benefit to learn from the successes and the mistakes that other men uh, were making. Uh, what a wonderful resource to be able to, uh, to learn from others and to take those principles that, uh, no matter where you're located, that apply to your situation. Let me close by telling you an experience that one of our interns had a few years ago. He'd spent some time working in, in ministry at Southeast, and, and after his internship was over, he returned to Bible college. And everybody was asking, well, what was it like, Southeast? Man, did you enjoy it? Was it great? And Did you learn a lot about preaching? You see, yeah, I learned some stuff about preaching. Did you learn a lot about church administration? Yeah, well, I learned some things about church administration. I said, well, did you learn some things about church growth? He said, well, yeah, I learned a lot about church growth. He said, well, what, what, what's the greatest thing that you learned? And Phil looked back at him and said, the greatest thing that I learned was what a church can be. And I think that's what this video series is all about, is what can your church be? What can, what can our church be? 
It means that we try to share ideas and we try to do our very best to fulfill the Great Commission and to fulfill the mission statement that you have mapped out for your local congregation. So that it's not what your church is, but it's what your church can be. And if you strive to do that, then Christ promises that the gates of hell will never prevail against it.